Welcome back everybody, this is the Johnny Mare, and I'm continuing with Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, the HD version. So as you can see, we are on the connecting bridge, or what's left of it, between shells 1 and 2. And we have just finished up with the kind of awesome battle that we had with the Harrier Jet. And uh, we actually are going to get a little phone call here, or a text message, so to speak, from the ninja. And he lets us know that we can use the coolant spray to put out the fire, which is good because there are a couple items that we can collect in this area by doing that. So we're gonna use that very quick. Make sure all of the fire is completely out because if it's not, it will come back. And then if you need a ration from that fight with the Harrier, run down here and grab it. We get back up very quickly because the little stairway will actually fall. Now the second thing we have to do here is flip over the railing and then we need to shimmy our way out until we get over that pipe and then we will drop down onto it. But it's pretty hard to believe we were actually able to beat a Harrier jet. Especially with Vamp and Solidus Snake inside of it. There's another ration down there if you need it from that fight. Otherwise, I'm going to slowly walk this way. Because uh, basically, you can fall off. And you can also fall off if you hit that bird poop while running. Now we have to do a flip here. And it is kind of close. It's kind of hard to make that jump. I've uh, missed that many times, so be very careful with that. Line yourself up carefully and uh, do the flip. Then we're going to use our spray a little bit more here to pick up a special item, and that is the silencer for our machine gun, the AK-47, or 74, or whatever it is. To equip it, of course, all you have to do is stick it in your item slot on the left while also equipping the AK and then you will actually equip both. So now we have a silenced machine gun. That's pretty awesome. And to finish off this area, of course, we cannot go into the shell due to the damage conveniently located blocking the doorway. So we need to head around the little walkways here on the side. But be very careful because some of the little plates will actually fall pull ourselves back up. So use your torso flip to get across those and the rest of them just run. Now, to get to that walkway down there, we have to flip again over the railing. And then once we're down here, there's a couple soldiers that'll come out. This is not a pretty sight. So we want to dispose of them. So I'm going to use my tranquilizer darts and aim very carefully here. Headshot. See if we can knock them both out. Come on. There we go. You can also use your sniper rifle, but obviously if you sniper them, as we flip across this gap here, then it might alert the other guard. Now this gap is too far, so you actually have to shimmy by flipping over. And hopefully these dumb seagulls will not attack me or knock me off. That one seems to be coming right for me. Let's flip back up and then we'll climb the ladder to finish off this area. Now, this is the strut L perimeter. That is the area we need to use to get into the shell core in order to find the president. Now, we have some windows here with some guards and we have to dodge them being able to see us. This is uh, very reminiscent to me anyway of Final Fantasy VII when you're climbing the Shinra Tower. Now at this point, just jump over and shimmy all the rest of the way across because uh, these little plates will actually drop. And if you do your torso flip, the guards will see you very easily. So just come to the end, flip up, and continue onward. Now if they do see you, they will alert some ciphers which will come down and start shooting you, so be very careful. Now we have to back up against the wall. You'll notice there is this little gap here, so make sure to crouch down. Do not let go of towards the wall because you will fall to your death. And I like to go really far onto the platform before I get back up. What? I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking, right? <laughs> that guard is being down. 
Now you can run through the pee if you want. Uh, I, I don't want to get covered in urine, so I'm actually going to shoot up at the guard and see if that'll stop him. <laughs> it alerts him, and then you can run by. Now you can also shimmy on the uh, catwalk there if you want by hopping over the railing. Or you can kill the guard if you want. You'll notice his head was uh, briefly available there, but eh, I don't feel like killing him. So more catwalks. Let's drop down here. We'll grab some more ammo, although apparently we're full. And then we have some ciphers to look out for. So again, as in the past, you have to shoot their camera or the gun. Because if you shoot the floating part, then what will happen is it'll just move and or get alerted. There's a couple items we can grab up here. Again, if you need more rations, there's another one. Since I didn't take any damage in the Harrier fight, well, I took some damage. I didn't get enough damage to actually need to use a ration. But uh, a couple more ciphers to take out. So it's much easier to do it from this perch here than to actually do it from the walkways. Come on. There we go. Now there is one more actually. Right there. So let's take him out as well. Well, him. It. It is a machine. And then we'll come all the way south, grab a little bit more ammo, and then we'll have to do some gesticulations to get across some more gaps. Because this door is not openable with our current key card. So we'll have to do one more torso flip. Let's see if we can time this correctly. I like to aim for the lower area, because you do have the barrier there. And then back against the wall again and walk across. And there we go. So now we're going to head into the core area. And uh, we're going to eavesdrop on a little conversation between a couple people that we know and have gotten to know over the last couple of hours. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the court confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. High voltage currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. 
Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again, one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right. But make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. So, I really hate how Olga walks around like that and paces, making us use the stupid directional microphone. Now, she did leave as we shifted our position, and the president is on the other side of this electrified floor. Let's get him! Uh, well, poor Raiden. Shake it off, man. So, we're gonna... Try to get in by him, and to get in by him, we're gonna need a remote controlled missile launcher, which of course we know from the past game is the Nikita missile launcher. So we have to find it. But we're also gonna pick up a bunch of ammo while we're doing this. Now there's rations, of course, and ammo for the various things that we currently have in our arsenal. And uh, there's actually a couple of sentry turret cannons in here. So we're gonna use our SOCOM to take them out. Because uh, once we do find the Nikita, we're going to want to grab some missiles for it. And uh, we can't pick those up until we actually find the missile launcher first. So to find the Nikita, we have to actually head down a floor. But we do have a couple more things to pick up. So some chaff grenades, some ammo of course. And we're going to of course log into the node so that we actually get a map. And this will give us a sense of where the president is located. And uh, it is not very far away, just on the other side of this wall. I could go for a cold drink. Alas. There he is. So knock on the wall and he'll actually come over and uh, see what's going on. I'm going to use this as a tactic in the near future when we actually do find the Nikita. But for now, we're just going to leave him. Standing against the wall there, looking a little bit like an idiot. And we're gonna try to find the elevator here, which is located right there, to head down to the next floor and find the Nikita. So let's hit the button. Come on, elevator. So we're gonna head to B1. And as you're gonna find when we get down to the next level, B1 is actually completely flooded. Well, not completely, but mostly it's flooded. So, let's activate the node, of course, get our map, which will be helpful in finding the Nikita, and then we're gonna have to do some swimming. Too bad we don't have our mask from the early part of the game that increased our oxygen, because we're gonna have to dive. But, let's get a reminder on how to swim from the Colonel and his strangely changing voice. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Again, it sounds like someone's trying to impersonate his voice or something. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. 
Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower, left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. I got it. Swimming's not too bad, and you'll notice these little lit areas, those are actually places where you can go up to actually get more oxygen. So, basically, we're gonna head up. I'll show that off very quickly. And uh, you just press the punch button to dive back down. And then you press the punch button to go forward, and use left and right to change your direction. Now, if you wanna go up, you hold up on the control pad. If you wanna go down, you hold down on the control pad. We're gonna head left here because there are some night vision goggles. If we can actually pick them up, there we go. And then we're gonna head to the left yet again because that is where the Nikita is located. As well as some posters of scantily clad women. So let's head under. We're gonna hook around here to the left again. We're gonna try to avoid this randomly placed mine. And there is the Nikita. You have the remote-controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Now you can continue onward and we will actually have to come back here, but uh, we need a higher level key card in order to progress because there's a door we can't get through. So we're just gonna head back to the stairs and head back up to level one. And then we're gonna head back to the area with the president and see if we can use the Nikita to actually get access to him. So not too bad. It will get a little bit more tricky in a little while from now. Let's uh, dry off like a dog and head back up using the elevator. Come on. Come on, stupid elevator. All right, so just like in Metal Gear Solid 1, we'll have to use the Nikita to blow out a circuit breaker. Now, fortunately, unlike Metal Gear Solid 1, we don't have to do it in a room completely surrounded in gas. Now, I like to knock on that wall because it gets the president to move over to that side of the room, which is away from the circuit panel. So I don't have to worry so much about where his location is because if you accidentally hit him with a missile, he can die. So take up position here, aim with your Nikita rocket launcher, and then fire one, which will go into first person, and then guide it to the left, to the right, straight ahead, right, and then left. Dodge the president and head to the right, and there's the circuit panel. And there we go. So now we're gonna head in and talk to the president and see what the heck is going on with this whole Metal Gear situation. And I'll do that in my next episode. So thanks for watching viewers, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time.